welcome back. Uh, I wanted to talk to you today about uh, a little technique for um, creating some space for your vocals. Um, I'm going to let you hear, uh, probably much to my partner in crimes horror, a demo that we're working on at the moment for a new track. Um, she is a singer, or Sezi Sadie Zuzu, sorry, not easy to say. Um, and we're working on this track, and at my uh, the studio that I work at, we have a, a plugin called uh, Track Spacer, which um, you can use to to side chain your vocals into it or anything into it, and it will turn down whatever channel you've got on it, but just those specific frequencies that you need turned down will become clear. I haven't got it licensed on this computer, so I haven't got it on this computer, so I'm sorry. I use uh, a free plugin here called Nova, and it does exactly the same thing if set up properly for free. doesn't get better. So, let me just play you without the plugin on. Um, I'm going to exaggerate a little and turn up the keyboards. So you can just hear what we're dealing with. I'm only going to play a few bars of this. quite a full keyboard sound going on in the background there. Now let me just explain to you what I've done. I'm sorry I distorted that at the beginning by turning them up too much so I'll let you hear it again without the distortion but um, let's just show you what I've done. I've gone to my vocal track here. Now you can do this from a vocal bus, you can you can do it from another instrument if you want to. You can do it from a kick drum between a kick drum and a snare, whatever you want to do. But for this one we're using the vocal and I'm sending to this lead bus, which is this synth bus that where everything's going. But I'm sending it to track three and four. So track one and two, audio one and two, to audio three and four. Because three and four are my sidechain channels. So on my lead bus, I have the TDR Nova. Okay. Now I've set this to external sidechain. So that will bring in, if you look here, tracks three and four as my external sidechain. Um, and I've set up all the various bands where I want them. So for example, I've got a little bit of low frequency stuff going on. So if we just play the vocal, and or I'll play the thing and switch the, the, the um, equalizer on and you'll see what's happening. So it's on. So, one, there's not a lot going on that I want to worry about. Channel 2 is the main kind of mid band frequency, so I just bring the threshold down. And because we're set to external sidechain, it's the vocal will trigger this at whatever frequencies I want them to trigger at. Same with number 3 here, we've just got the threshold set, so it takes a little bit down. And the same at the top end. Let's turn this out, let's play that again and I'll switch this out and you can listen to it without it now. Bring it in now. Out. as simple as that. So you just sidechain your vocal into TDR Nova. You set up your bands, whatever, whatever you feel where the, the vocals are more prominent that you want to duck them out, duck out the synths. And you could hear there straight away how it made more room for the vocals. 
And you could do this with kicks, you can do it with guitars, you can do it with whatever you want if you need to make some space. So, you know, that track spacer plugin that I use at work is great, but I mean, this works just as well and it's free. What can I say? So, thank you again. Please like, subscribe, say hello, comment, let me know you're out there. Um, all is good. Thanks, guys. Cheers.